Hello and welcome back to day three of Red Hat Summit and Ansible Fest from sunny and breezy Denver. Today we're going to continue to unpack what's been going on. Again, really digging into the ecosystem around Red Hat and what they're bringing to bear in the market. And for that, I'm really excited because we actually get to go a little bit deeper into the chips and to the memory and get a little bit better understanding of how you actually stand these things up. So I'm going to welcome to the stage here Michael Kim, who's the head of SMRC for Samsung Electronics, and Taehoon Lee, who's the strategic account manager for Red Hat. Welcome on board, both of you. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so I, I think one of the things, maybe people don't understand how Red Hat and Samsung are working together. Why don't you give us kind of an idea of how this partnership has evolved and really got started? Yeah, let me start first. So Samsung is a hardware maker, especially memory maker. So we need a partner. So actually we are the product based company, but we believe we need to move forward to the solution company. But the, to make a solution, we need to do a lot of things, application, network, hardware, software, but we cannot cover everything by ourselves. So that's why we are looking for partners. So the, I found that Red Hat is really good partner because they own the like, operating system and software platform, very good ecosystem. That's how I approached to him and he gave a lot of good the ideas for the, how we do a partnership. So that's how we started. And from the Red Hat side? Um, this is keyword uh, share the market share. So a lot of, uh, more than 70% of enterprise customers use Red Hat platforms. And globally, everybody uses Samsung memory. So there's a new memory generation will come, the name of CXL. So we are collaborating that using the shared market shares to expand our, uh, our memory market. So yep. yeah, this is the concept of the, our collaborations. And there's a Samsung CXL memory, and there's an enterprise Linux of Red Hat, OpenStack, and OfficeShift at SMRC. So this block is from the, just one block cannot have a meaning, but blocks are meaning like our collaboration, we can make a service and expand the memory markets. Yeah. yeah. So for more information, you can see the QR code. Here's our collaboration article. Great, yeah, and I, I think, by the way, you designed that as well, yes. the Legos, which is, yeah. I think, extremely creative. I, I think because we, we go to a lot of shows and we see a lot of things. We actually do a segment at KubeCon called the Swag Segment where we get collect from everybody, and I got to say, this is one of the best things I've seen in a long time, so <laughs> thank you. very, very good it. job. Yeah, All right, so it. one for you. Yeah, oh, well, thank you, <laughs> thank you, I, I, I love that. Yeah. So, Tell, tell us a little bit more about CXL and, mm -hmm. and why it's important and why it's exciting. Okay, the CXL is a new like, kind of device, a new protocol. So people looking for like, a new technology to cover the old technology or some of the limitations. So CXL is one of the new technology to overcome the problem or the previous the current IT ecosystem, IT systems, so especially memory and some more computing uh, process. Yeah, and, and everybody here is talking about AI, and AI is very data intensive, very memory intensive. How do you see that fitting in with this relationship with things like OpenShift AI and all the things that are being announced? Mm -hmm. So, actually AI can be anything, because we still don't know computing will be required, memory will be required, network and the data and the people, many things are related. So still, memory is a very important part of the AI because all about the computing of data. But where they're going to store, where they're going to read the data is from the storage and the memory. So that's why the memory company, we also manufacturing SSD as a storage and the memory to loading a data. So that's why we are really close for the AI and the CXD is one of the kind of it. So you're helping accelerate it and helping to actually optimizing. optimize yes. those deployments. Yeah. Yes. Uh, when uh, data center, 
the enterprise company that who, we, who has the data centers, they need to optimize their uh, considering ESGs for future. So CXA will be uh, one of the answer for that. So, yes. Yeah. So sustainability is also a big yes, piece of yes, this then. Yes. And it, so is this helping people uh, be more efficient with their servers if, if they're having the CXL? Yeah, yeah, true. Because the hyperscaler like AWS and Google and Azure, they are looking for the lowering of TCO, the price, the efficiencies. So CXL can be one of the solutions to lower their TCO, or not only the, the improving the performance. So they are looking for those kind of solutions. And, and it stands for Compute Express Link. Yes. And, and like you're saying, it's a new way for them to communicate back and to communicate yeah. with that memory as well. Yeah. Okay. So the easier to understand is this one. Everyone know the SSD. Yeah. SSD is just a plug in and plug out. So it's a hot pluggable device. But easy to put in. But the memory, you need to open the door and the plug in and the turn on it later. But the memory, the CXL, you just edge like SSD in front, just plug in and recognize the memory. So that's easy to extend your memory, main memory. Oh, okay. That that so you can so you're also it's I guess like circular economy with how you can actually make your servers older servers better now or and yes. to be able to support workloads like yeah. OpenShift AI and some of the Red Hat A, or Rel AI and things of that yes, nature. Yes, yes. So there will be a, a lot of limitation though, but uh, later on we're going to have a more server hardware storage whatever things come out enabling a CXL. Then you will see how CXA is enabling the technologies and make it better. So especially the hyperscaler and the enterprise, all the IT company looking for efficient way. So open shift is one of the very important portion of it. But the, as I said, the memory is a very important part. And the, when the open shift requires more memory, I believe a CXA can provide more memory for it. Yeah. From REL, uh, REL 9.3, is every our product is enabled the CXL and uh, <coughs> core. So, uh, which means uh, ad market adoption is very easier to do that. So, it, uh, kind of uh, like a portable batteries to easy to extend our memories like a CXL. Yeah. Right, so you, what you're doing is, at, because it's open source, you're being able to bring it in, yes. CXL in, to be able to take it actually uh, advantage of that and yes. actually lower latencies or what, how does that work, it, it, does it help? Okay, so there's a main memory, a DRM, there's a SSD for the storage, mm -hmm. but there's some gap in between those kind of two components. Right. But the CSA is in between to lowering the gap. So from the memory, high speed and the SSD be low, but in the gap, the, you can extend more memory in the same time Reduce the uh, uh, improving performance because we reducing a gap of between the SSD and DRAM. So okay, so it, it can yeah, it can help, like almost like caching, almost like yeah. extending yeah. the cache it or is. the SSD yes. for the yeah, most it part. Is. That is new technology. So we need to certify our product and Samsung Electronics product. So we are cons uh, we are con continuously processing our certification for next market. Yeah. Yeah. So what we focus on is this one. So for the end user, for the user of the IT, mm. we make them comfortable, which means we certifying our device to the operating system and the platform. And we make a best practice and the reference architecture, which they can believe on the documentation. Then for them, they're easy to adopt and easy to use it. That's the one of the purpose of collaboration. Yeah, no, it, it seems like this would be, like you said, the hyperscalers and enterprises that want to take advantage of going faster, basically, and be able to get at their data. Because data, and all these activities are very data intensive, yeah. be it analytics, be it ML, be it real AI, what have you. Are you seeing these different use cases or what you're designing this memory for? Is okay, so there will be a lot of the use cases. We still need to look for more and more, but one of the cases is this one. So, the, this memory can be interleaving together because uh, DRAM is small and they need more memory, then we put the CXM memory as an interleaving, as a one memory. That is one of the use case to enlarge your memory. Or as a cache, we have a, like a tiering, 
the main memory and the lower tier memory as a CXL and tiering between those kind of two memory, that's one of the use case. And just, just be more, the Broadcom, we also working with the Broadcom, they're using this memory as a memory virtualization. I believe the, open, the Rail and OpenStack OpenShift also can be used for the memory virtualization. There's another use case that you can think. Yeah, so something like OpenShift or uh, OpenShift Vert could take advantage of this and be able to carve it up for the different containers or VMs that are on there. Yeah, true. So certifications of reference architecture with the white papers, yeah, that we are, we are conducting, yeah. And, and are you are you seeing that uh, this is going is this going through your same channels and distribution? Are you tied tied tightly from an ecosystem perspective as well? It, it's quite open actually. Mm. So it's not only only to between us. Yeah. I just want to open to everyone. I'm just welcoming all the ecosystem to come and play together and make a solution together. Then I believe they will stronger our solution together. Right. Yeah. Right. For Red Hat side is uh, world expanded platforms. That's why we are doing the first time because uh, platform between memories it need to be certified. So yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And I, I think when when you look at the entire, I used to run data centers a long, long time ago. And when you looked at it, you always wanted to figure out how long you could keep your servers running, and how you could because once you bought it. Like you said, you can't really, you know, adding, you could upgrade the memory, but you can only get to a certain, certain, you know, extent. Yeah. This would seem like a really good way for organizations, especially enterprises, and obviously the hyperscalers at yes. much different scale, uh, to go and be able to now bring new life to those servers and to put different workloads on there. Are you seeing a lot of a lot of pickup in that where people are going to, you know, <laughs> the, the Red Hat <laughs> QR code and looking at how they actually uh, increase that? Okay, that's a very good point. Mm. So as I mentioned before, they are want to lowering a TCO, which means one of that is, they have all the servers still usable, but they need more memory, they need more computing power. So most of the time they buy a new server, which is a bit waste of the money. So to right. keep the, the old server, they just buy the, some CXM machine in the out of the server and connect it to provide the more memory, which means they can use old server longer and better. Mm. So that's the, one of the way to lowering a TCO. Right. So all the quite number of the hyperscaler customer looking for those kind of solutions. Yeah, and obviously well, OpenShift runs on all the hyperscalers for yes. the most part, and Rosas and yes. others. Uh, I would assume that this being certified allows those hyperscalers that you can work with them that this could be in those servers as well. Yes, uh, we forecasting our CXL's future is memory donor. So AI is very focused on uh, now in GPUs now, but there's an option, CXL will be the option for uh, tomorrow. Yeah, maybe, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. No, that's great. So, what what is final thoughts from you guys on what what do you want people to know? Hmm. What's what's the key for them to know that you want them to take away from this discussion? Yeah, let me start first for that. The most important thing is I believe is ecosystem. So all the player come together and uh, make a solution together. The make a ecosystem stronger means that we can go to the market stronger. Then more people will use it. More people can use for easy for adoption. Then, so the ecosystem, um, I want to say, welcoming all the ecosystem, all the player, come and play together to make a solution together. Excellent. Uh, as a Red Hat side, uh, Red Hat recently did uh, a lot of compatibility and certification process for existing applications and infrastructures. But now is we are expanding to the future for next memory or next uh, markets. So we are doing for next as a Red Hat, yeah. No, I, I think that's a great place to leave it. I, I, I want to thank you both for coming on board. This is, you're, you're now CUBE alumni, and <laughs> you're, you're welcome back anytime. So thank you very much, and you know, thank you for bringing this. And you know, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's awesome. I'm going to build yeah. this uh, okay. tonight. Okay. So I, thank I you really for inviting us. Yes, thank, okay. you. thank you. Thank you. Yeah.
And thank you for watching theCUBE's coverage, wall to wall, day three of Red Hat Summit and Ansible Fest. Stick around, we got some more coming. We'll be right back in a few seconds. The Cube, the leader in tech, analysis, and news. Stay tuned.